Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Musicals101.com's I'll Say. Uh, I am one of your hosts, uh, theater historian John Kenrick. Hi, and I'm William McKay, actor in waiting. So, tonight's topic is why do gays like or love Barbara Streisand? I have to ask why. I mean, why would a gay love? A female. It's not like, you know, Ryan Reynolds, which of course I don't understand why people obsess over him, but you know, he is who he is. And you know, I do realize he's married. Uh, you know, we have to get over that, but we obsess, you know, over males, but females, what is the deal? So with Barbara Streisand, why, you know, I mean, I, I, it, she just gets almost too much attention. I have a few things on her. I, I have a book, um, you know, which is interesting, but she would not approve of this book. She probably also would not approve of this book, but I have the two books. She's writing her own autobiography. It's supposed to come out soon, whenever. She does approve of this book because it's all about her. Gorgeous pictures, gorgeous pictures. Again, though, I don't understand why gays are accused of being so focused and obsessed on somebody like this. This is Barbara Streisand's book about design. Oh my God. It's like her house and all that sort of stuff. You've heard about her house with the, with the, with the, with the mall downstairs. She has this book about that. Let's see. I have albums, lots of albums, because I'm old, so I still have albums. This is Funny Girl. Wait, a Funny Girl. Huh? She won her Oscar for that. Her first, well, I'm going to say, for, well, her only acting Oscar. She tied with Catherine Hepburn. Hmm? But then Funny Lady, which is actually quite entertaining, and it's on right alone now. Well, you know what? This is not a great movie either, but she's terrific. But this is fun, you know, to some degree. <sighs> And then we have we have Hello Dolly, which I decided this weekend because I was watching only movies again that I kind of like more than Funny Girl. I know. Any second, John's gonna pop on, but that's gonna I <laughs> but it's just I find it more entertaining. I don't know what then off, John, John, bye bye, bye, bye. It's my time, my time. There we go. Yentl, perfect movie, a perfect movie. Really, she directed this, yet got ignored by the Academy. Mm, doesn't thrill me. Music, music, music. There are at least 50 albums. 50. It started with My Name is Barbara Streisand. The company wanted her to call it uh, Sweet and Sassy or something like that. And she said, no, I want people to walk into the store and go, can I have the Barbara Streisand album? And that's what they have. But so terrific. I would like to quickly point out the Broadway album, really cool and guilty. Oh my God, it's perfect. It's like butter. The combination with Andy Gibb, it is amazing. This is my yearbook. Why am I showing my yearbook? Because the whole front of it is uh, a montage of pictures for the way we were. I don't know who on the team suggested that, but that's what they did. Oh, I'm hitting the mic. I have so much stuff for somebody that doesn't really care about Barbara. She has other albums and I have, well, well, of course CDs now. I have, you know, a few, this is just some of them. This is her latest, it just came out two weeks ago. But if you really want the collection, there's the one, it is beautiful. It's got decades and decades of material only up to, I think the nineties and a beautiful book inside. Absolutely amazing. When I, oh, the pictures, I have a reflection here. When I worked at Record World, one of my best friends while I worked at Record World turned out to be, are you ready for this? Barbara Streisand's cousin's son. Oh my God. So I got it signed. And this is my ticket to her concert. It was supposed to be her last concert. Isn't that amazing? And I got tickets for it. You don't know what I spent because it was going to be her last concert. It wasn't her last concert. She went on to have more. It was still worth it. She does that whole number where uh, with that uh, Papa Can You Hear Me? And she has her, she has the girl playing her and she's got her own movie and the thing. It is absolutely amazing. My wedding picture, Evergreen, was our wedding song, our dance song that night. And of course, you know, there's only so much obsessing one can do. And again, I don't understand why gays love this person and I would never overdo it. Uh, this is my Barbara Barbie doll. And they're kind of silly, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. And so we are almost done for the most part. I just didn't want to make sure that you knew that I had overdone this to any way, shape or form, but, we also have wallpaper. <laughs> I 
Thank you, prop people. There we go. John, it is your turn now. It is your turn to discuss as you. Uh -huh. So, like, I just have to have my staff now help me take care of this lest I drop. So now you talk. You just talk amongst yourselves. Okay. So we're going to have some coffee talk, which is why I have the mug. You know, no, you know, we're going to talk about about daughters, about coffee, about Barbara. No big look. Uh, just coffee talk. Why don't you clear the props? You just, you just keep talking. Talk it's amongst like, yourselves. I'm listening. I'm it's listening. It's like Brett Midler said about why no one wants to get into serious S&M. There's too many accoutrements. All right. 